Today's video will be on how to track multiple copies of the same stamp. I will show you three different ways to do this. I will use the current Easy Stamp US database and I have pre-scanned three copies of Scott number 184 in uh, used condition which I have stored on my hard drive here. The three methods are number one consolidate all three stamps into one record. This can only be used if the three stamps are of different grades. This is important. If they are of the same grade, you'll use one of the other two methods I will describe. Number two is to create a variety. And number three is to duplicate a record. This is the most commonly used method. I will also show you how to add images for each copy of the stamp and we will set the image view option to show all stamps, not just the primary supplied image. Let's begin by setting our image display option from the options menu first. So we go to options, preferences, images, and you have to make sure that you select for the main image view format we're going to choose quadrant. You can choose any of the other ones, uh, but quadrant is usually the best. And we just click OK. Now I will show you how to consolidate each stamp into one record, and then we'll run a line item report to show you how it will be reported. So first I will inventory a used copy in very good condition. So I'll select Use Very Good and click on the save record. So now it's been saved. I will also add an image. So I'm going to right click on the view pane and then I'm going to go to where I have my stamps and then I'm just going to drag it into this window here and then we'll save it and save it on the main record. Now you can see that this stamp has been added. I will now add the very fine copy in the same way. So I'm going to choose used very fine. I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to right click in the view pane and then for image number three I'm going to drop one of the other ones on there. And I click save and save again and now you can see I've added the second variety second copy I mean. I'll now add the extra fine stamp and again I right click I go to image 4 and I'm gonna drop the third copy And there you have it. So we've now added three stamps, all in different grades, in one record. So now let's run a report. I like the line item reports. We'll run the basic report so that you can see how they show up. So you can see even though they are in one record, it's separating them into each one so that you can see. If we had added more information like who we bought it from, what were we paid for, that kind of information, we could run the detailed line item report, which I'll do here. And you can see more details. I haven't entered anything, but you get the idea. Okay, before I proceed, I'm going to delete this record so we can start fresh for the second method, which is creating a variety. So I'll first delete this record and now we're back to an empty database. I'll now show you the duplicate a record method. I will inventory the very good stamp as you would any other stamp as I've shown you before. So I'll go back to number 184 and I'll select used very good and inventory it. I won't, I'll, I'll add the image again, that's not a problem. Okay. 
Okay, so we've just added the first uh, the the first stamp, which is the very good one. Now, if we want to duplicate this record, we go up to the toolbar here and click on this icon. If you look in the status bar, it will always show you what it's going to do. So if you look, it's uh, create a duplicate copy, or we could easily do the exact same thing by going to Edit Menu and click Duplicate. I'm going to use the uh, icon here. So now I'm going to create a duplicate record of um, the original stamp. Notice that now at the bottom on the status bar we have a duplicate record uh, indicator with these yellow arrows. So I've created a duplicate of the very good. I'm going to remove that record, that uh, stamp, and I'm going to inventory the used very fine. And I'm going to change the image. And now we have a second uh, stamp duplicated. Sometimes what I like to do is I will make notes in the uh, big comments area here just to uh, indicate that this is a duped record. So you can type in what you like and then just save that. And now I'll do the same thing for the extra fine copy. So again, we click on the duplicate icon, we add it. I will remove the used very fine and add the extra fine. I will add the extra fine image. And I'll change this to extra fine. And save. Now you can navigate between the duplicated records by using these arrows here. We can also run the reports. And you'll see that they'll look very similar to the way uh, we did it initially. Which method you use will depend on whether the stamps are all of the same grade or not and which of the three methods you prefer. As mentioned, the most commonly used method is the duplicate a record method, but it all depends on what you're doing and what your comfort level is and you know what your specific situation is. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Bye for now.